Hello everyone, welcome to Love and Lux. Today I'm going to do a review on my Rolex watch. Before I do, I'll go over what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing this, I think it's a Kelly green, almost like the Bottega of Veneta color. Um, it's a maxi dress and it just has a tie in the middle with um, deep pockets. I'm not wearing any necklace. Um, I'm wearing my diamond earrings with the white Versace stud earrings. And this is just the Medusa head. Um, the everyday rings, the everyday bracelets, two Cartier and a Tiffany's um, bracelet. And this, I've worn this before. Um, it is the Kelly Doll bracelet from Hermes. On my lips, I'm wearing this lip gloss. It is from YSL. It's number three, and it's called... I think it's called Gloss Volupt. And it's um, it's a lip gloss that's glittery. So this is what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. And it is Dior, or Judge Dior by Christian Dior. This is the atomizer. And that's that. So we're gonna go over um, my watch. I've shown this before. We're gonna go over my watch, and I've shown this before, and pretty, and I've shown this in previous videos before. Um, I'm gonna try to get up close and show details of it. This is a, um, it's a Rolex, and it is a 36. That's the size. So it has the um, Jubilee bracelet. It's two tone, so it's gold and stainless steel. The fluted bezel, the black dial, and the numbers around. The markers, well, the number markers are on um, diamonds, um, and it has a date on it. Just the date, so I'm pretty sure that's why it's called date just because it's just the date, just the date and the um, time. So when it comes to Rolex, there are different prices because um, not only do they have different watches available from Rolex, like presidential, and it is a price going to vary depending on what type of Rolex you get, but then also the details of it, and I'll go over that in a second, and that's going to dictate what the price is. So. Just because someone said they paid XYZ for their Rolex doesn't mean that that's what all of them cost. They all have different prices. And I mentioned that I got mine from the Rolex store. And then go over um, the details of the watch. And like I said, just because one person says their Rolex costs XYZ or these watches cost around this much, it's going to vary depending on what, what kind you get and then what details or what upgrades you get. Because, um, like I said, I'll go over that in a minute. So first, I'll go over the packaging and what you get. So again, this... Um, Mine came from um, one of my local malls that sells Rolex, and um, this is just a plain white box. This is what it says here. Um, I have no idea what that means. It's just on the packaging on the outside. And then you have the Rolex crown here. We're going to do the best we can do and try to get as close up as possible. So that's what the box looks like. It just has the um, Rolex crown on it. Which is the same thing that's at the very top at the 12, the 12 o'clock. I don't know if this camera is going to zoom in or what you will be, how well you'll be able to see it. But we'll do that later. So this watch I've had for four years now. Um, and we'll go over like the wear and tear and everything. This is the receipt. Um, on the back of the receipt, it talks about the different um, Rolex laces that's available. And then, yeah, I'm not going to like show all my details and stuff, but... I will show you the dollar amount. Let's do that. So if y'all can see right there, that's the dollar amount. It was supposed to be more than that, but I paid cash and my husband um, talked him down for me. So I don't know, people probably don't realize this. When you're buying Rolex, if you're buying with cash, a lot of times the price is negotiable. If you're buying more than one, usually you can negotiate the price too. Um, I don't like financing stuff if I don't have to, so I pay cash for my watch. In fact, um, he talked them down so much that I was able to get this with the money I saved. And I bought, this is Van Cleef and Arpel. This is a magic Alhambra, no, it's a vintage Alhambra necklace in the black onyx. And I bought it because it went well with my Rolex. And sometimes with the other bracelets I wear on my stack because they're black. And I like the black and gold combo. That's why sometimes you see me and I'll have on black and gold because that's my favorite combo. A lot of people I know wear silver or white gold. They don't really do the gold like I do. And um, like I said, I do the black and gold combo because I like it. Or I'll do like um, black and white metal because, um, yeah, I just like that too. I like all metals, but gold is my favorite. So, yeah, um, originally I was looking on the website. Um, and I looked for years before I actually went and bought my watch because for me it's not a cheap purchase. And um, I thought to myself, if I could buy one watch and that's it um, and just have one. So I was looking around for... Um, 
I was thinking what watch if I I, I said to myself if I'm only gonna get one watch that's like a, a watch watch not a fashion watch which I have several fashion watches from luxury brands however um a watch watch is kind of different there's a difference between a fashion watch and an actual watch watch now they made my words that's like the universe or the internet or whatever putting that out there for people who are into watches um they know what I mean so I said if I had one watch watch what would it be if I could only buy one and I was happy with it and it would be the watch the end all be all the one watch that I had that was actual watch watch what would that be and I was like well I think I would go with Rolex because I think I've been wanting that one for longer there's other watch watches that I like that I'm pretty sure I'm going to get but I'll start with the one that I want the most and the one that I've been wanting for the longest time so I was doing my research and um I was wearing all my other watches um off and on just like I do now but my favorite is a Movado Museum watch which my husband and I have matching his and hers some of our watches we have that are matching his and hers so I, my favorite was the Museum watch from Movado and I remember thinking to myself I love it because um, of the two-tone. It matches with any jewelry that I wear. And then I also love it because of the black dial. And it's super simple. It just has that gold dot at the top, black dial, and the gold hands. And that's it. Everything else is just stainless steel and gold. And that's it. Just the yellow gold and the stainless steel. And that's it. I love how simple and easy and clean it is. I also like the slim profile and how low it sits to the wrist. Which, you know, you don't get that with Rolex. So that was something that I was willing to um, overlook. In fact, I was going back and forth between the tank. No, not the tank watch. The Panther. The Panther watch has a low profile. But the Panther's not really a watch watch. It's a watch from a luxury brand, but it, the Panther's more like um, a fashion watch from a luxury brand. So it's still a luxury watch, but it's not... I hate saying watch watch, but I don't know how else to say it. If I could find the word for it, then I'll put it up on the screen if I could find the word for it. But whatever. Anyways, to make the long story short, um, from where I'm on Movado, I knew that I wanted um, a two-tone watch with a black dial. So I started looking on the Rolex website and just researching it and going over it for a few years. And then I saw that Rolex had made some changes to their watches. And one of the changes was, I believe, you can the watch stays wound up for longer or something like that. So I was like, oh, that's it. That's the one I want. Boom. Let me go get it. So I went to, I was looking online and um, I saw that sometimes if they don't have the watch that's like already there with all the specs and everything, you have to kind of spec it out. You have to tell them I want this and that, this, that, and the third. And then you have to wait for them to basically make it. And then you can come pick up your watch when it's ready, whether you do it in person or online. So I was like, okay, well, I know there's um, a... Uh, a watch store I mean a Rolex store um, not too far from where I live so I'm gonna go there and see if they have it in person so I hate talking money I never mentioned how much stuff costs for the most part on my channel but um, I showed the receipt and um, I took $15,000 out of my account because I thought that's how much I was gonna have to spend but I didn't realize this it's not gonna cost $15,000 I was looking at I think the 41 size I have the 36 so I think I was looking at the next size up I think is the is the 41 I'm not really sure but that was in the, the the realm of the men's size watches the back in the day the size watch that I have would have considered a men's watch would have considered to be a men's watch and even now I think men could still wear this size but I think in today's world women can wear a 36 I know that's my favorite size um, but I do have watches that are smaller anyway um, so I took the money out of my account thinking okay I'll go buy this watch and um, I wouldn't recommend anybody do that unless like for me taking the money out of my account it didn't break me I was fine like I'm good but I don't want to encourage people to go withdraw money like that if it's going to, I wouldn't encourage, I'm not trying to encourage people to just go take some money out of their account and go buy a watch. I did that because I can afford to do that and that's what I did. Um, it, it didn't hurt my account because, or my money coming in, right? It didn't hurt me that I went to go buy this watch. Um, didn't miss the money, anything like that. So I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to tell people to just go take $15,000 and go buy yourself a watch, girl. No, because when I went into the bank, number one, they didn't have the money. And if you know anything about withdrawals and you know, they don't always have that type of money on hand. Sometimes you got to order it and then they got to, you know, give it to you. Um, it could take a week or so before you actually get your money from them. And then they have to sit, fill out a suspicious activity report, which, and that is anytime you withdraw $10,000 or more. Um, my background is accounting and finance and technical background. Um, I don't do any of that anymore, but I did that for a long time. So I'm very familiar with the banking um, industry and how things work. So I knew they were going to fill out a suspicious activity report, but so what is my money? Um, so when I got to the bank to withdraw my money, of course, they told me they didn't have it. Um, and they had to put in an order and blah, blah, blah. And they asked me, what was it for? And it almost felt kind of embarrassing to say, oh, I'm, I'm about to go buy a watch, you know, but whatever. That's just the backstory on what happened. Um, but when I got there, so I told my husband, I was like, well, I'll probably have the money by this weekend. So I told him, I was like, um, if I go to the Rolex store, will you talk him down for me? And he was like, are you paying with cash? And I said, yeah. And he was like, no problem. So to make the long story short, when we got in there, I was expecting to spend $15,000. But because this is a 36 and not a 41, it, now I don't know what the prices are now. So if I can find it or put the Rolex website up and kind of show it on the screen, then I will. I don't know because, like I said, I bought this four years ago. So I don't know what the prices are now. And I mentioned that before. It's one of those things where when you buy what you what you want, you don't keep up with the prices and how much they cost. That's how much I thought it was going to cost me when I went to the store to get my watch. Um, so I was happy to look at the price tag and see that it wasn't $15,000 at all. In fact, I want to say it was probably more like um, twelve or 13000 So I was like, okay, cool. And 
even though it was cheaper than what I thought it was going to be, I knew that my husband was still going to try to talk them down. And like I said, that's how I was able to get my Van Cleef & Arpel necklace because I told myself I'm going to take $15,000 out of my account and buy this watch. Well, with the money that I saved, not only because the watch turned out cheaper than what I thought it was going to be, but also that my husband talked him down, I was able to go get the Van Now, I was already going to go get a Van Cleef & Arpel necklace anyways, but I didn't have to withdraw any more money to go do that. So that's how I wound up with the watch and the necklace in case anybody wants to know. Um, yeah, and then on top of that, when I was there, they was looking at me like, what do you do for a living? Like, I think they asked my husband if he played sports. I was like, black people don't come in here and buy watches? Like, for real? Stop playing. And I can't even say that it was because I was black, but that it was given very much so, like... <laughs> That's what they was given. I don't give a fuck what you give, bitch, but you gonna give me that fucking watch. That's what the hell you gonna do. I almost had to get a little ghetto. Okay, so anyways. And let me tell you that when that dude that was helping us when they made the sale... He took that money and he left. I don't know if it was if he was a manager or if that's just protocol and that's what they do. They don't like to keep that type of money on hand in the store. I have no idea. And then they sent me a paper and it's probably in here for taxes. Yeah, something. I don't know. If it's in here, then I'll show it. So all that, I got all that out of the way. Let's go over the packaging. So this is what it looks like on the inside when you take the top off. And then it just says Rolex here. And this is just like, I don't know what this is, like some type of plasticky type of lightweight stuff. I don't know. And that's it. And I've been saying I was going to do this video for a long time and I just never got around to doing it because, like I said, I was doing other stuff or showing other stuff, I guess. Oh, the paper's kind of stuck on here. Hold on. It's not paper. I don't know what it is. All right. So let's just put that to the side. This is what it looks like on the inside. So obviously the watch will be there and this thing folds down well i have to make sure that's not showing <laughs> hold on okay so you get this which is a booklet this is what kind of watch it is it just says um oyster perpetual date chest and on the back it just says rolex there and this just has um information on your watch services and how to do stuff they size the watch for me there um, you have to take your watch in um, every two years to get it um, looked at and serviced and stuff like that. If it needs to be sent off for service or whatever. But that's that. And then the other thing it comes with is this, which looks like a card holder almost. Yeah, because you've got um, a slit right here that has a warranty booklet information. And then I'm going to cover this up because it has my private information for my, my specific watch. And it's on a card. Well, I just had all my information on there, doesn't it? So the serial number, the model number, and some other number, and then it says black diamonds on it. Black with diamonds or whatever. Um, I can't show the other numbers, but basically this is just a plastic card. Feels like a credit card, basically. Um, on the back, it has my name and the date of purchase, which says April 10th, 2018. There you go. So like I said, I've had this for um, this watch for four years now. And um, I know I didn't have to buy it brand new. I know that you can buy these watches pre-loved, but I don't know. I don't know nothing about Rolex to be trying to buy something pre-loved. Out my handbags, for example. Oops. What do you think my handbags that are behind me, for example, from Louis Vuitton to Hermes to Chanel or Gucci, whatever I have on my bag, on my shelf, right? The bags that I carry. Um, nobody wants a fake bag, and so I try not to buy pre-loved because you don't know if the bag is going to be real or not. So my bags, I either buy them. Um, brand new from the, the store or I buy it brand new from the website um, the bag that I have that I bought pre-love for example was um, the one of my Chanel bags which was a vintage bag I had to buy that pre-love because it's a vintage bag you know what I mean I also have um, three vintage coach bags that I bought pre-loved as well because they're they're older bags that they don't sell anymore but if they buy a brand new if they sell a brand new then I'm gonna buy it brand new um, I went somewhere recently and people were asking me this is the second time somebody asked me um, people like in my everyday life and I mentioned people in my everyday life uh, pe you know, my friends and family members and how um, I don't know anyone that's really into luxury the way I am. And one of my family members is like, <laughs> I ain't going to name no names, but I would say um, one of my family members is telling people that I'm selling bags. Like, oh yeah, girl, she's just selling fake bags online. I was like, what? I'm not selling fake bags online. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Somebody was like, oh yeah, so you're selling bags online? You're selling bags on YouTube? You got the YouTube channel? You're selling bags online? I was like, um, I make YouTube videos, but I'm not selling anything. The only thing that I show is my own stuff. And it's crazy that People would say that, like, why are you telling people that I'm selling fake bags online if I'm not? 
and I, well, I was having a conversation with my husband because he was standing there and he was like that's crazy and i told him before like this family member is telling people that i'm selling stuff online like that's why i have a youtube channel because i'm selling bags and i'm not saying he didn't believe me but maybe he it didn't really sink in until somebody was standing in front of him and they said girl you i heard you was on you got a youtube channel and you're selling bags online i was like no i'm not i have a youtube channel but i'm not selling bags online i'm the stuff that i show is my own stuff and this was somebody that i haven't seen in a while so y'all know who y'all are i love you because she she subscribed to my channel right away and they, they were um you know family members and friends and stuff that i came in from out of town so I love them so much. Make no shade to them because they don't even know all they, they they asking me what they heard through the grapevine through a family member. And I'm like, girl, no, ma'am, that is not what we're doing over here. And it's it's kind of sad, too, because it's like you got family members who's like lying on you. You know what I'm saying? And then I don't know, accuse you of lying even. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, girl, I know this ain't got nothing to do with YouTube, but you know what? This channel is about fashion, luxury, lifestyle and beauty. And if this is a part of my lifestyle, if this is what I'm going through, then I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all. Show Liz. Show Liz. So, I hate to talk money. I hate to show receipts, but um, because it should it shouldn't even be about that. Like you know what I'm saying? The people who follow me that's that subscribe to my channel or whatever the case may be, they're into luxury. They're in stuff that's that that has nothing to do with luxury. It's it's a little bit of everything. I talk about buying stuff from the thrift store and sh and where the stuff. Y'all see it? Like I I say it all the time. I got it from Amazon. I got it from the thrift store. Wherever you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter to me. But um yeah, it's funny how some people will be like, oh girl, she online selling bags. Whoopie whoopie whoop. I am not online selling bags. If y'all watch my videos and you know that ain't even what it is. Um. But it just sucks because I spend my hard-earned money on this stuff. And then you got people spreading rumors and lies to make it seem like I don't have what I have. And why? I mean, I come on here, I make my YouTube videos, I show stuff, get as close up as I can. Um, I got my receipts, I can show my receipts, but it shouldn't even be necessary. And my husband was like, that's not necessary because people who know the real thing know what you're showing them. So, yeah, I know that ain't got nothing to do with YouTube. And the people who subscribe me, thank all of y'all for subscribing to my channel and commenting and giving me a thumbs up. And the channel's growing, which is awesome. You know, I'm fairly new to YouTube. I've been making YouTube videos for... Uh, a few months just i just started in january and there i go again talking about something that ain't got nothing to do with the watch y'all here to see the watch not hear about some drama it's really not drama i'm not a dramatic person but I, I figured i'd throw that in there since i'm talking about this and showing receipts and stuff this is a watch that y'all seen all the time every day is my everyday watch but um yeah so this is my, my my box that it came in so let's get on with the um with the with the video i don't know maybe i might cut that out maybe i won't i don't feel like i should though right it shows my personality it shows a little bit of what, what's going on in my life because you got haters everywhere, right? Flesh and blood can be haters too. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm not talking about the people who I saw, the family members and the friends that I saw. One of the um, the people that I saw, they were like, oh girl, I heard you selling purses online. No, <laughs> absolutely not. That is not what we're doing. I'm not showing nothing fake on my channel. And child, please. But anyways, let's um, let's get, let's zoom up on this watch. Oh, and I changed my chair. Let me scoot it back already had this chair in here but it was on the other side of the room i just swapped the chairs out because this chair is a lot more quiet than the other one all right so let's get close up on this so first of all i'll start off by saying when you get the jubilee bracelet that's considered an upgrade when you get the two-tone with the gold in it whether it's yellow gold or rose gold that's considered an upgrade too some people will have white gold some people's watches will be all gold and all these little things they add up when it comes to the, the cost of your watch so the jubilee bracelet two-tone the jubilee bracelet is an upgrade the the, the two-tone watch the, the two the fact that the watch is two-tone that's an upgrade the fluted bezel that's an upgrade the diamonds at the number marker is an upgrade also the um the black dial that's also an upgrade Let's see if i can wipe it off so it's automatic obviously it winds by itself when you wear it, but I do have a watch winder. And you want to have a watch winder because the watch winder is um helps you keep the time and the date when you're not wearing on the days that you're not wearing the watch. And I don't know if I can get really, really close up. I'm trying to get as close up as I can show y'all so y'all can see details. But you can see it says Rolex inside. So in inside behind the I think it's a sapphire crystal, this glass right here. But on the inside, because it's kind of deep. If you can see, and I don't really know how well. Hopefully the camera can pick that up, but all the way going around, it says Rolex going around the whole thing. And of course it's an automatic watch. So when you have an automatic watch, it just moves kind of smooth. It doesn't tick because there's no battery in it. So that's the, the mechanism and the way the watch works, it works on the inside. Um, on the side, it just has a little crown. I've got my fingerprints and stuff all over it, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if I should be showing this stuff on the back because I don't want it to give away like my personal information and it's dirty. But um, 
sorry, I know it's dirty, but it has a little Rolex sign right there. It's deep, deeply engraved um, on the back. And then there's some numbers inside of here, some numbers right there. I don't know what those mean, so I'm not even going to go there. And the back of it is completely plain. So there is no writing on the back at all, and it shouldn't be. Unless there's something that they can look through and see on their own, but with the naked eye, I don't see anything on the back. Um, I did get it sized. All of my links, I have them um, separately with um, with the other links. So I have other watches that I wear and other links that I had to take out, and so I have those links there. Um, I'll show what it looks like on, but y'all have seen it plenty of times before, because like I said, this is my everyday watch. And the reason why I decided to make this my everyday watch, like I said, not only because it's two-tone and it has a black dial, which is my favorite, but I want my money's worth. I want to get my money's worth out of it. You know what I'm saying? And if I can wear this a whole bunch, <laughs> then why not, right? I want to get my money's worth out of it. I'm going to put it on upside down because it's easier to show when it's upside down. And the back. I don't know if I showed that or not, but the back. Some watches have a dual deploy um, deployment clasp. This one just has one. And the way mine closes, it just has the little um, crown on the back. Some of them don't have that. It depends on when you bought it, and also it may depend on what size, too. So it just opens like that. Um, a little fact about Rolex that a lot of people probably don't know is they... Um, I don't know how to say it, but they make their own gold. So they don't get their gold from anywhere. They make their own. So yeah, I'm going to put it on upside down so y'all can see what it looks like. Does that look upside down? Maybe it does. It does. Let me fix it. Okay, so upside down to me. <laughs> I'm going to put it on so that it's upside down to me, but you guys can see it better this way. Yeah, and just excuse the lines on my arms because I just had my um, Kelly dog on there. But this is what it looks like. This is the everyday Rolex watch that I wear in every single video. I only have one of them. And like I said, this is the 36 size. So, I said that's all. I just want to come on here and show this watch. Talk about how long I have it. Give y'all a little backstory. So at least now when you see me wearing the watch or y'all see me wearing this um, Van Cleef and Arpel necklace, then y'all will know the backstory on, on how it came to be, on how I got it, on why I got it. Is it a coincidence that both of them are black and gold? Um, why I got a two-tone Rolex instead of any other one? Or, you know, you just know the whole backstory and what I'm wearing and why I'm wearing it. Um, and sorry for the rant. If I was ranting, just coming on here, just dumping my information, like my problems off on y'all. Like, girl, she's talking about some stuff that ain't got nothing to do with us. Cause it has to, what I talked about has nothing to do with YouTube, but I just, I don't know. I just, because I felt like people, I, I have people that follow me who don't know any of my friends and family. Majority of the people don't. Majority of the people, I'll put it like this. Majority of the people that know me don't follow me. So they don't support me at all. They don't follow me. They don't like, they don't comment. They don't subscribe. Um, I feel like they'll pull it up to watch maybe just to be nosy, but they don't, they don't do none of that. So the majority of the people who um, subscribe to my channel or people who don't even know me that are su supporting my channel subscribing and, and 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 liking my videos because they like my content they like me they like the content whatever the case may be which is great but I think we all have people in our life that doesn't mean you well you know they rejoice when you're doing bad when you're down and out and everybody's life have up and down ups and downs so I feel like um sometimes you got to keep people at a distance because they're not in even though even if they may be flesh and blood right and I I'm not talking about all my flesh and blood, right? But I'm saying one person in particular, I think they're telling people that I'm selling, f well, they didn't say fake stuff, but I feel like that's what they were saying. Like, oh, girl, she on there selling fake stuff on the internet. I'm not selling fake stuff on, on the internet. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're like, girl, she's selling fake stuff on YouTube. I'm not selling fake stuff on YouTube. I don't show anything fake on YouTube. Everything that I got, I bought, or my husband bought it for me, and it either came from the store, that I went into the store already, or I bought it online. Like, I don't know. I'm looking at the bags behind me because I tape on my phone. I can see the bags behind me. And these bags came from the stores that they are. If it's Hermes, it came from the Hermes store. Whether I bought, like, for example, my Evelyn, right? You, with the Kelly, yeah, I had to go get that in person. But with the Evelyn, I, I put that in my basket and I bought that online. With the Speedy Bandolier, I went into my um, local mall and I bought that from the Louis Vuitton store. Like, walked inside and bought it. You know what I'm saying? The Chanel bag, too. This one, too. This one I bought online from YSL. This one, the... Raffia one, I don't know if I did a review on that one yet, but that Raffia one, I bought that from the Louis Vuitton website. So if I don't, and all the other bags behind me, whether you can see them or not, but the bags that I have, everything that I have, I either bought it from the place where they came from, right? So if it came from Rolex, then I bought it from Rolex. I didn't buy it from anywhere else. It's not used. It's not, um, and, and I'm not knocking anybody who has used stuff. I'm just saying for me, if I could buy it brand new, I'm going to do that because I don't know anything about 
authenticating or what authenticating place to use or try to go through or anything like that. I don't do that. I just, I have peace of mind and going straight to the source and getting my stuff. I have peace of mind and going straight to Louis Vuitton and getting my stuff. I have peace of mind going straight to Rolex and getting my watch. That's a lot of money to be spending on a product and then for it not even to be real. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. I got, um, back in the day, I'll tell this quick story real quick. Back in the day, I was um, in my early 20s. And at that time, I felt like I couldn't afford luxury. So I'm 44 now. So this is over 20 years ago. Um, I was in my early 20s and um, I was wearing Coach and Duty and Burke and stuff like that because I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't afford Louis Vuitton and stuff like that. Um, little did I know I could afford it, but I just was intimidated. I didn't even want to go into the store. My husband was like, why don't you just go to Louis Vuitton? And I'm like, no, no, I don't want to go in there because what if I see something I like and I can't afford it and I got to walk out the store without the bag? What if I break something in there and they're looking like, oh, well, we need this money. And I'm looking like, I don't know. I don't have that type of money. You know, I always thought it was out of my price range when it never was. I was, I was just always too scared to go into the store. And so, um, I ran into someone who was a purse lady that sold purses and she was ripping me off. She told me the bags were real. I thought they were, were real. And she was charging me the prices that they were paying, charging for the bag anyway. And I didn't know how much the bags cost brand new in the store because I didn't go into the store. So anyways, I don't know if that has something to do with this family member saying that I'm selling bags online because over 20 something years ago, I literally got ripped off by somebody who was selling me bags who told me that they were real. And I didn't know anything about a purse lady or fake bags. I didn't know anything about that. You know what I mean? I was just wearing my coach, wearing my Dooney and Burke, buying it from the mall, didn't go into no luxury stores because I didn't feel like I could afford anything in there. And like I said, little did I know I could, I just didn't know that, that I could because I wouldn't go into it, the stores. So one day, a long time ago, this was years ago, um, my husband was like, we're going to go, we're driving past, he's like, we're going to go into the Gucci store. And I was like, no, I don't want to go in there. You already know how I feel. And I don't like, you know, living outside of my means and looking at stuff that I know I can't afford it. This is my lane and this is what I'm doing. We're doing coaching Dooney and Burke over here. He was like, no, let's just go and look. So I went in there and I started looking at the price tags and I'm like, I can actually afford this stuff. Like I didn't even know because I, like I said, all these years I was too afraid to go in there thinking I was going to fall in love with the bag and I couldn't leave with it. Or I was going to mess up and break something in there, girl. I was like, I don't know how much that stuff costs, but it ain't in my price range. Like I just automatically assumed that I just couldn't afford it. And that wasn't even the case. So I wound up getting ripped off. This chick was selling me fake bags, like fake Louis Vuitton bags for the price that they were selling them for in the store. I was a sucker. She knew it. And I was buying bags from her left and right. Every time I got paid, she was showing up like, girl, I got this new bag. I got this new bag. And I was like, okay, cool. You know, I didn't know I was in my early twenties. I had no idea. And so when I realized that I got ripped off, I was like, oh my God, like I bought all these bags and they're all fake. And I wind up giving that stuff away or throwing it away. I'm saying all that to say, maybe that's why um, this family member of mine is telling people that, oh, I'm online selling fake bags or I'm online selling handbags because of the experience that I had a long time ago. Yeah, I was wearing fake bags, bitch, because I didn't know. I didn't know this chick was selling me fake bags. That girl wind up, I think she wind up going to jail. She moved out of town, whatever the case may be. I don't know, but I stopped talking to her when I realized that, she, that stuff was fake. I was like, girl, no. And she was like, coach is cheap, coach is cheap. The one that was selling me the stuff, she was like, oh, coach is cheap. And I'm thinking to myself, now, if I would have known that you were selling fake bags, I'd have been like, girl, these fake bags you're selling is cheap. Like, what are you talking about? But stories for other days. This is a long video. I don't know how much of it I'm gonna wind up editing out. But um, yeah, it's crazy how friends and family members I'm not gonna say, well, yeah, because it could be, girl, don't even get me started on close family members that you call, the close friends that you call family. And like I said, I'm not talking about my friends and my family members that I saw the, that day, because y'all know who y'all are, and I'm not talking about y'all at all. I'm talking about other people that's in my life, girl. Swear up and down, oh, hey, girl, hey, how you doing? And then they be talking shit behind behind your back. I don't know what those are called. Are those called frenemies? I don't know. But when you got close friends and you got close family, your family members and your close friends and they doing stuff like that behind your back, girl, there ain't nothing okay about that. So, like I said, I don't like to talk about money. I don't like to talk about how much stuff costs. A lot of the times, if I find it online, I'll put it on the screen and you can see the prices of the stuff right there on the screen. And like I said, the majority of the stuff I have, I bought, I just started making YouTube videos in January. So this watch, I, I wasn't thinking about YouTube when I bought this watch. You know what I mean? But yeah, be careful y'all of people who are family members, your own flesh and blood, unfortunately. And sometimes even people who you call family, but they're not. Um, girl, they will talk so much shit about you and throw you all up under the bus. And... A lot of times, even if there's nothing to say about you, then they'll lie. They'll lie and be like, oh, girl, I heard what you And they didn't even hear that. So it's, it's unfortunately, you know, what I'm dealing with in my life. And um, like I said, I'm not trying to address the people who, is this my pocket sticking out? I'm not trying to address the normal people who follow me on YouTube because they don't know nothing about this drama, right? They don't know nothing about this stuff that I'm talking about. But I know that some of these people that I'm talking about probably do watch my YouTube videos. And they don't subscribe. Like I said, there's no support. So they don't subscribe. They don't like, they don't comment. They just watch and then sit back and talk shit. And, um, yeah. So, could y'all stop saying, not y'all, because I think it's just one person. I'm going to need you to stop lying on me, telling people that I'm up here selling fake bags on YouTube. And for everybody else, thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. Um, to the one person who subscribed when they saw me. Like I said, we're talking about friends and family who I'm not talking about.
um, that came from out of town. We were at my little grandbaby's birthday. No, it wasn't her birthday. It was her um, her kindergarten graduation. So one of the family members that I've seen, I haven't seen in a long time. She was like, girl, what's your channel? She's the one that was like, you selling bags online? I was like, no. Girl, thank you for subscribing anyways. Because she's the one that was like, girl, you selling bags online? I was like, I ain't selling no bags online, girl. What are you talking about? So thank you. I'm not talking about none of y'all. You know, I love all y'all. Even though I haven't seen y'all in a while. Some of y'all live out of town or whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm not talking about y'all. Um, I know my brother's family. Um, I mentioned going to his house and visiting. It would be good to see him and his family. They support me. So I'm not, I'm in no way, shape, shape or form talking about them either. But um, yeah, for the hater, that's my feet. I'm not over here passing gas. That's my feet at the bottom. I don't have on any shoes and I was rubbing my feet up against the side of the chair. So anyways, um, yeah. So to the haters, I guess, or I, don't, I, I can't say I have a lot of haters, but I know I have a few haters that are too close for comfort. You know, when you talk about friends, when you talk about family members, when you talk about fr friends that have known you your whole life to where they are family or you claim that they're family. Again, not the ones I saw at my grandbaby's graduation. That's all love right there. They didn't even have to show up. They came to love and support. So I'm not talking about y'all. I ain't talking about y'all. But y'all probably know who I'm talking about, though. <laughs> Let's just keep it all the way. 100. Y'all probably know exactly who the hell I'm talking about. But girl. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to come over, come over here and say, ain't nobody over here online, on YouTube, selling fake bags. I'm showing my own stuff that I bought with my own money. Some of the stuff my husband bought for me. And if my husband bought for me, I say it. It was a gift from my husband. He bought it for me. Boop -de -boop. Otherwise, I'd just be like, I bought it from XYZ. Um... Ain't no shit in my game. Like I said, I talk about my stuff, whether I got it from the thrift store, whether I got it from Amazon. <laughs> I be on here the other day. I had a whole ass Fashion Nova outfit on. I don't give a uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's what I wanted to wear. That's what I spent my money on. That's what I'm showing. Okay? So it don't even matter. But yeah. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know how much of this video I'm going to wind up cutting out. But girl, I just had to come on here and tell that little story. How I got a family member child out here talking about I'm, um, that I'm up here. <laughs> And my last name is Love. I know I never said my name because it's just Love and Lux, but my last name is Love. That's why the channel's called Love and Lux. So people out there are like, girl, Miss Love selling fake bags online, girl. No, I'm not. I'm not on YouTube selling fake bags. I'm not online anywhere selling no fake bags. I got YouTube and I got Instagram. And that's it. So, girl, I don't know. I don't know why this person is saying that type of stuff. But as y'all can see, if you watch my videos and go back and watch all my other videos, ain't nobody selling nothing over here. Ain't nobody selling nothing. Ain't nobody selling nothing on here. So I don't even know what that's about. But, mm. I just had, I had a little drama. I had to come here and tell y'all about my little drama. <laughs> there ain't no drama. It is really is not no drama. I just feel like somebody that I know is running around telling people that I'm selling shit online and I'm not. Oh, girl, you got a YouTube channel. You selling fake bags online? First of all, I don't do fake bags. Second of all, I ain't selling nothing online. If I'm showing something on my channel or on Instagram, it's mine. And like I said, if I'm showing Chanel, it's because it came from the Chanel store. With the exception of the vintage bag that I have, I had to buy that preload because it's old. They don't sell those types of bags anymore. You know what I mean? Same thing with Coach. Like I mentioned, I got some vintage Coach bags. I had to buy a pre-love because I, one of them I got from Poshmark, the other two I got from the thrift store. I had to buy a pre-love because where else was I going to get it? Pre-love used, I'm not really sure how the, all that goes, but it was somebody else's first. And then I went and bought it because they're vintage. They don't they don't sell those bags anymore. And that's why I got those pre-love. But everything else I get brand new. Um, Yeah, so that's as close to like... I don't know. I don't even know how to say it, but... Yeah, this is a long video. I'm going to be editing the heck out this video because I know there's a lot of stuff that I set up here and said that I really don't want to put online. Um, because I don't want to drag all my subscribers and followers or whatever, whatever y'all call my little family here on YouTube. I don't want to drag all y'all in here. But like I said, the channel, a part of the channel is about my lifestyle. So that's why I did the boat video and showing y'all, um, my boat, because sometimes I am going to be, um, on my boat and I'll probably make a video and at least y'all know what my boat looked like. I know somebody asked me, um, in the comment section to do a, um, a boat tour and I will. Um, so on that video where I was on my boat, um, we didn't have it like there's, um, pillows and stuff and decorations that we have sitting out we didn't have none of that sometimes my husband and i just go to the marina and pull our boat out because it's a beautiful day sometimes we'll be out shopping or going out to eat and then we say hey let's let's stop by the marina and take the boat out for a few hours and i'm like okay cool let's go we got the time to burn then why not let's go do it or sometimes we'll go out to eat dinner at night and we're not ready to go home so how about we just go out and finish having our drinks and just enjoying the evening on the boat so we'll do that so when y'all saw when i did the boat video um i didn't have the decor and the pillows and all that setting out because um it was one of them days where it really wasn't planned we just hopped on the boat and and enjoyed our day out there um i don't even think i was even on the video and the parts that i showed my husband on um he was driving and it was dark here and there throughout the, the time that i have my channel um we will be on the boat sometimes and y'all will see um footage um of that sometimes i'll be driving sometimes he'll be driving sometimes the anchor will be dropped and ain't nobody driving um what else i'll do the tour like the subscriber asked me to do the subscriber asked me to do a boat tour so i'll do a tour of the outside of the boat the cockpit on the outside part um, and then I'll also do a tour of the cabin below, um, because 
boats are different and you could say oh, i know somebody that has a boat or i know this person that has a boat certified yacht technically is what it is but it's it's, it's only a 32 footer so um we're not the biggest um boat out there but we're not the smallest little tap hole either you know um so i'm gonna do um a boat tour i'm gonna take y'all on the boat i'm gonna tour the outside of it i'm gonna tour like i said the cockpit part which is the seats the outside cockpit part uh, which is what y'all saw already and then i'm also going to take y'all into the cabin below um you walk down the stairs and then there's the living area um the little living quarters down there and i'll show i'll, I'll give y'all a tour of the whole thing but um yeah i just want to come over here come on here i mean and do this review of this watch um and show y'all some details kind of close up i have had the watch for um four years now and the wear and tear is actually pretty good i i really don't wear anything next to the watch because it can get like scratched up right there and um I did a few times. I put something on next to it a few times and I love the way it looks, but I just cringe every time I hear something hitting against it. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so yeah, for the most part, when I wear this watch, I wear it by itself. I don't wear anything next to it. Every moon, I might put something next to it, but for the most part, I just wear it by itself. Um, do I recommend the watch? It's hard to say because I don't know what the price is now. Is it worth what the price is now? I don't know. I felt like it was worth every penny for what I paid for it. I showed the receipt. Y'all saw what I paid for it. Um, and y'all know what I was expecting to pay for it. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if you have the money to spend on it, like I said, if you can take the money out of your account and it's not draining your account and it's not bothering you and, and this is the watch that you want or any watch, right? It doesn't have to be Rolex. It could be from anywhere. Um, if you feel like it's worth your money, then buy it. For me, I felt like it was worth my money. That's how much it cost at that time. And it was worth every penny. Um, would I repurchase it at today's prices? I don't know because I don't know what today's prices are. I heard the prices of them went up a lot and I also heard that it's harder to get them now. So with it being harder to get, um, with them costing a lot more, the experience will be different. So I, I don't know if I would buy it at, at today's prices with today's experience. That's just like Chanel, right? You talk about Chanel bags and um, how much they cost now and the, how the experience could be different. Um, and I did that little video talking about, um, do I think luxury is dead? And I was like, no, because I don't feel like luxury is dead. Um, However, I wouldn't buy a brand new classic flap at today's prices because I've been shopping at Chanel and I know it's not worth it. But some people coming up, they might think, I'll buy the Chanel back at the brand new cost and I don't care how much it costs. There's plenty of people who don't care about spending a lot of money on items. I don't care about spending a lot of money on items if I have the money and it's not breaking me to buy it. The issue is when you want me to spend a lot on something and it's not worth it. Don't double the price of a product if you're not doubling the craftsmanship and quality of it. In fact, there's more issues with the craftsmanship and quality of Chanel bags now than there were when the prices was cheaper. Yeah, you're charging twice as much for the bags. And then you hear that they're going to do the VIP only stores. I think they, someone said it's starting in Asia. And then maybe, depending on how it goes, they may bring it to other parts. Everything I bought, I bought from the Chanel store except the one vintage bag. I don't know if I'd be considered a VIC or not. I'm pretty sure I won't be, even though I have a decent amount of Chanel stuff. And if I do be considered a VIC client, then great. I don't consider myself a VIC client. I ain't bought none from Chanel since 2019. The reason why is because... Uh, when the pandemic came, I couldn't buy anything online. You know, I'm not, I don't want the sunglasses. I don't want the makeup or the perfume. I'm looking for bags. I'm looking for shoes. I'm looking for clothes. The type of stuff that I have from them. Yeah, I have perfume and, 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 and sunnies and stuff like that, but in makeup. But during the pandemic, I spent my Chanel money with Hermes because I could shop from them online. Um, before the pandemic, I didn't have a problem going into the Chanel store, even if it was crowded, to buy what I wanted. But I haven't been into Chanel since 2020. I mean, since 2019, since fall of 2019, actually. I think the last time I was in there, I was buying something for myself and my husband was buying something for me for my birthday back in October of 2019. And I remember shopping and buying other stuff from other brands during the pandemic. And I was like, I wish Chanel would just let you buy stuff online. It'll be, I would have so much more Chanel stuff if they would just sell their stuff online, but they won't, they refuse. Or I don't know how that's going, but the way that they're going today, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm just a regular person who if I, if I looked at the income of my household, I would say we're upper middle class. And I believe they want to strip out the middle class. I'm in the middle class. So they don't want people like me shopping in their store. You know what I'm saying? And um, fuck them. I won't shop in their store then. There's other places that will gladly take my money. Sorry to be so blunt, but child, it's hard to really watch with your mouth and watch what you say when you're trying to just tell the truth. And I know people will be like, if you got to cuss, then um, you have a poor vocabulary. Um, yeah, I don't agree with that. Because at the end of the day, sometimes people say, oh, um... But people say stuff like, um, ooh, that's a bad word. Well, first of all, I don't believe there's a bad word. It's, it's the intention. What is your intention when you're speaking? Is your intention to hurt people? Is your intention to get your point across? Because if it is, I put the power in my words. My words don't have power. I could tell somebody to drop dead, and that's much more hurtful than saying fuck you. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, if they don't want 
middle class people like me or people who may not have as much money as what we have running through my household people save up their money and, and that's their dream bag to get a, a chanel bag you don't even have to be a double classic flat bruh it could be anything from chanel and they want to save their money and buy these bags and then you tell them basically oh we don't want people like you in our store <laughs> so you rather just not have our money that's what sales is about it's about selling as much as you can and i don't mean that by just pushing out a bunch of products but I guess it's one of them cases, you know how you play dominoes and they be like, all money and good money. I guess that's what Chanel's saying, right? All money and good money. So I I'm not really sure what's going on with Chanel, but it's enough to make me say I'm good. I mentioned before in a previous video that um, I was due to go back. I'm overdue to go and buy something for Chanel. Usually I go to Chanel a few times a year and go buy stuff. But girl, if you don't want me in your store, honey, I don't have to go to your store. There's, there's too many businesses. There's too many places that I can go spend my money on that will appreciate my business that have the craftsmanship. I like the craftsmanship and quality. You know, it's not just because of a CC logo on it. It's because the craftsmanship and quality is good. And with people complaining about the craftsmanship and quality, I ain't in no rush to go buy nothing from y'all when it's overpriced and y'all got poor craftsmanship and quality. I can get better quality from Dooney and Burke. And that's real, real shit. I can get better quality from coaching Dooney and Burke right about now. I don't give a fuck if y'all don't like me. Yo, you didn't already put that out there that you don't like people like us anyways. And I don't mean black. I mean people of a certain dollar amount. People who bring home a certain dollar amount and below. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And there's people out there who, oh, I'm still going to shop at Chanel. Fine. I'm not saying I'm never going to shop at Chanel, but if they're going to be bad quality and then treating you a certain way when you go in the store, girl, these fools have said they're going to have another store for only their elite 1%. So those elite 1% can't go into a regular store and shop like everybody else? Don't y'all got a back room like Hermes do? Because I promise you, you ain't buying nothing like that in the front with everybody else. Right? When you're buying that high jewelry from Hermes, from Cartier... You ain't got that back door that you can bring them them, them A-list or whatever type of celebrities. You ain't got that back door you can slide them on through. They not shutting down the whole store like Floyd Mayweather. And shopping, you got to go open a, open a whole nother store where people can't even go. Where the regular people can't go shop. For what? If these people got money all like that, which I'm pretty sure they do because there's tons of billionaires and even some trillionaires out there. Why don't you just let them shut down the shore, store? Like, let them do a Floyd Mayweather. Shut down the store and go shop. I don't know, but... Bro that's my little chanel rant and my um review of the rolex watch um if you could buy it pre-loved and you know how to authenticate or you know certain brands that you trust and that you love and that's gonna they're gonna be you know authenticating your stuff then do it i don't know none about authenticating i don't know none about these companies that be authenticating that's why i choose to buy my stuff brand new from the store brand new from whatever store it is if i got it from ysl brand new from ysl whether i bought it in the store or online um, and I'm not turning my nose up at pre-loved because if I want something that's not available, hell yeah, I'm gonna go get it from pre from a pre-loved place. But my preference just for my peace of mind is to just to get it brand new from the store. And that's just for me. Because like I said, what if I would have bought this watch pre-loved and it turned out not to be real? That's a lot of money to be spending on something that's not even real for something that's fake. And girl, nobody got no time to be running around wearing fake stuff. Absolutely not. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all. Because to tell the truth, I've been sitting here talking to this camera for over an hour. <laughs> I got that much memory. What is I'm doing? But anyways, that's it. That's all. Hope y'all like the video. Bye.